Are we finished hating Gabe Kapler yet? And he drives it into right center field. Hit a ton. This baby is way back. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel. And today I'm talking more about Gabe Kapler, the new Giants manager. And let's be clear, when he was first announced as a candidate, I said, Gabe Kapler, are you kidding me? You know, I didn't like the the possibility, but I thought, okay, it's just one of many candidates, one of many, many candidates, so big deal. You know, he was just a manager for a couple of years, got experience. You know, he's got a nice resume, so fine, he's a candidate. But his, his name kept getting steam. I started going, oh my gosh, they might actually hire Gabe Kapler. People weren't liking it. People were trying to dig into his past and find all kind of things to, to put him down and talk about how he's so horrible. And then he gets hired, and now all of San Francisco's in a big riot. And I'm just going to speak my mind and tell my opinion. I don't want to offend any Giants fans. I'm a Giants fan. I hope that we can all come together to talk Giants baseball, root for this team, this great franchise, and uh, love the game of baseball as one and come here and have a community where we can talk baseball. I hope that all happens. But at the same time, I got to be honest about this. I think people are coming crazy, man. Twitter is just, they're still outraged over this guy. Calling him all kind of names. And, you know, I've looked into this and I just don't see that he's that bad. That he doesn't deserve a chance. We don't like it. A lot of Giants fans, myself included, didn't love the hire. But I also accept that I'm not all-knowing. I don't know as much as these guys know. I don't know Gabe Kapler personally. And I also looked into that whole Dodgers situation that everyone's flipping out about, about Gabe Kapler. And it sounds to me like someone in the media just decided, I'm going to write an article why this is so bad and he's so bad because he was involved in this. And you start throwing out these, you know, sexual assault terms and people flip, okay? But if you look into it, Gabe Kapler wasn't directly involved. He wasn't the one doing the sexual assault or, or harassment or any of that stuff. He was the president of minor league operations and he reported it up the chain and talked to the victims and tried to do the best he could and it's just funny everybody thinks that they're so perfect and would do everything perfect in every scenario and these guys are just almost put in the same category as the actual you know the actual monsters who do this stuff like if, if, if somebody assaults a woman and does something horrible like that and you're standing within a you know a thousand foot radius you're also just as responsible as that guy what when did this become that when did this world become this way this is the Twitter rules. The Twitter rules are if you're involved in any shape or form, then you are also the one who did it. If my, you know, neighbor 10 houses down the street decides to, you know, assault his wife or do something terrible, you know, hey, I I'm also, I also assaulted his wife and did something terrible. I'm not saying Gabe Kapler is perfect. I'm saying the opposite. He's not, and none of, nor are any of us. There are certain crimes that are beyond that that are just, you know, so offensive and so horrible that we can call them out on it and call them maybe bad people. Gabe Kapler, to my knowledge, has not done any of these crimes. So let's back off him for that whole thing and calm down. That's what I feel about that. Now let's focus on baseball. Baseball-wise, didn't look too great in Philadelphia. They didn't play that well. Their pitching wasn't that good. Their big, big signing, Bryce Harper, didn't do anything close to what he was supposed to do with that type of money, that type of contract. All that said, he didn't make the best decisions. He didn't handle the bullpen best. He didn't handle the lineup the best all the time. But you know what? He, had, he admitted all that. And Farhan Zaidi decided he deserves another shot at it. He deserves another shot at managing. He's going to get it. If he's horrible, he's going to be gone. He's not going to last if he's not any good. Especially because the fans don't like him at the start. Which is why I, didn't, I really don't agree with the signing. I still don't agree with the signing. Because the Giants aren't in win now mode. So they're probably not going to play that well. They're probably going to lose a lot of games. And if people already hate Gabe Kapler. Well that's not going to help them not hate him. They're still going to hate him. And then they might end up having to fire him. And it's just not fair to Gabe Kapler. So I don't understand the signing. But they're going for it anyway. So, hey, they said, I, we, don't, we don't really care what the fans think. We're going for this. We'll handle all the controversy. And here it's been several days, and the controversy is still crazy. When are we going to let this go and just accept this is the manager? People are saying, well, I'm off board. I'm not. I'm, I'm rooting for the A's now. We're rooting for the A's. If you're going to root for a different team every time they team hire someone or sign someone that you dislike, well, you're going to have a lot of favorite teams during your lifetime. You might go through all 30 teams at some point during your lifetime because all 30 teams are going to piss you off at some point with some signing, with some manager, with some coach, with some GM. You're not going to like everyone they hire. And when Bruce Bochy got hired, Giants fans did not like it. 
There wasn't this crazy Twitter at that time. Maybe Twitter existed. I'm not even sure. I don't. I don't even think it did, or it was just getting started. That was back in 2007. People didn't like it. Giants fans were mad. Giants fans were saying, "You're gonna hire a, a Padre? You're gonna hire this guy?" Giants have pride. We hire Giants. W what happened to Will Clark, J.T. Snow? We're not gonna hire a Giant. We're gonna hire this Padre. Oh, embarrassing. People called it embarrassing. These same people today? So you're going to follow one of the greatest managers of all time? One of the greatest giants ever with this guy? Oh, so now Bochi is the greatest. Bochi is the greatest. Bochi is the greatest. But you didn't like him when he first got hired. A lot of people didn't. I'm not speaking for everyone, but a lot of people didn't like him. But you gave him a chance. Because you had no choice, and we got three World Series. Is Kapler going to bring us three, two, one World Series? Doubtful. If I had to predict, he probably is going to get fired in a year and a half or two because the Giants aren't that good and everyone hates him. That's why I don't get the hiring. But it is the hiring. And last to note, by all accounts, Gabe Kapler seems like a cool guy. By all accounts. One guy I've met who signed two of these baseballs right here up front is Matt Herges, and he was the bullpen coach for the Giants last year. He just got hired with the Diamondbacks. I've spoke to this guy personally before games. Not saying I know him or I'm buddies with him, but, you know, he's, he's freaking cool as can be. This dude has talked to me at length. Matt Herges had this to say about Gabe Kapler, and so he obviously had the same thoughts as a lot of people. Like, this guy just seems like a jerk, dude. Seems like a total freaking douchebag with his freaking six-pack, and he thinks he's better than everyone else. But he says when he got to know him, he found out what a cool guy this really is, and that he's actually a pretty laid-back, cool dude, okay? So that's Matt Herges. That can mean anything to you. That cannot mean anything to you. We also got this Tyler Beatty photograph that was tweeted out. Shows a little kid here, Tyler Beatty as a kid. And you can see he's taking a picture with him. He's smiling, didn't have to do that. And uh, it's not like he did that for politically correctness reasons. It's not like he, it's not like Gabe Kapler at that time said, hey, I better uh, go ahead and smile for this photograph because you never know. This kid might make it to the big league someday and play for the Giants, who then might in turn hire me as manager. So I better go ahead and smile for this photo right now just in case that happens because that goes down. I want, definitely want people to see that I'm a nice guy. No. Maybe he's just a nice guy. Maybe he's not the monster everyone makes him out to be. Okay? The Kapler train is coming through, whether you like it or not, so you can hop on or you can hop off. I'm hopping on because why? I'm a San Francisco Giants fan. I have something called loyalty. I don't just abandon the team because they hire a guy who can bench 300 pounds. Okay? Or more. I don't know how much, but I just threw out a number. Sounded good. Okay? So I don't just jump shit because of that. I'm sticking with my team, okay? They hired a manager that we don't like that much. It's not like, you know, they did something really crazy, like, I don't know, put a camera out in center field and recorded the signs of the catcher or something just insane that no team would ever do and, like, you know, put a monitor in the clubhouse or something and then, like, you know, bang trash cans to let the hitter know it was coming. It's not like they did something so outlandish like that that no team would ever, ever in a million years do. I want to thank everyone for joining me today right here on the Hum Baby Baseball channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we're going to be talking baseball all off season long. Let me know right now if you're okay with Gabe Kapler. If you don't like Gabe Kapler, what are you going to do? You're going to give him a shot? You jump and ship? You go into another team? You're going to be an A's fan now? You're going to be a Dodgers fan now? You're going to buy some Dodgers gear? You're going to deck out into the blue? You're going, going with the Dodgers? You're going with the A's? You're going with the Padres? Who are you going with? The Angels? You're going with someone else now? That's cool, man. Talk to you guys later. See ya! When the Giants come to town, it's bye-bye, baby. Every time the chips are down, it's bye-bye, baby. History's in the making at Oracle Park.